that you can't provide job security to your workforce and their families unless you have security of payments from the state government as well. So this 12-month contract to contract to contract that rolls over time and time and time again has to be challenged and has to be replanned and has to be rethought. And that is something which we are looking forward to working with you between now and March and ideally beyond March. Because unless we give you funding security, you can't give your clients security and you can't give your workers security and you shouldn't have to dwell under that consideration as well. Finally, I'll say this about baseline funding, which is something which I know this uh, NCOS has been fighting for now for a long time uh, too. Matt last week spent $42 billion. He, we actually, I did the numbers for you, Matt. You, you spent $1 billion a minute every time you were on the floor of the Legislative Assembly. But we did not find the ability to provide a structural response to the campaign that you've been waging now about ensuring that there is a baseline funding review and the opportunity to at least work in partnership to see whether or not we can make sure it stays within market conditions. I am disappointed that that government didn't do that last week. There's still nine months of Mr Keane's tenure here to go, continue to put pressure on him, and then should he not find himself in that position, then I look forward to partnering with you next year and beyond to see what we can do better in that respect too. Thank you very much. Uh, unlike Matt, well, you, you might well be asking who is Daniel Mookie. I'm the guy who wants his job. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh.